Well, here we are, folks. We're back with Double XL Men. I am one of your hosts, Jason, VHS Jason, of course, Jason Roy Gaston. Here we are talking episode five of X Men 97. Jason, how are you, sir? Yeah. I'm not Whoa. okay. I'm not I, okay at all. Dude, I, I'll be honest with you. I watched this episode and it was one of those moments. I just turned the TV off and sat there in silence for five minutes. I did not know an animated superhero show could kick me in the feels this hard to where I don't think they'll ever drop again. Look, and I'm not you're okay. Watching... I'm no, not... And... Screw you, Disney. I'm not okay. And if you're watching this, clearly you've seen it. So we're just going to jump straight into it. This this is genocide. Yeah, we watch we watch some horrible things, and they don't hold back. This, we're not getting yeah. cutaways. We're seeing people die on screen. It is horrific. And you know this? Okay, the creator said the first five episodes were going to be nostalgia and fun, and the last five episodes were going to be basically like post nine eleven. They warned us and we didn't listen. I, I did. There not was know. the clue, right? I yeah. did not know. But yeah, this was, oh my gosh. Remember it is probably one of the most powerful episodes of television for animated television. Heck, any television that I have seen in a long time. And I know everybody's like, well, it's the internet. It's hyperbole. He's exaggerating. No. I was stunned. I was watching this and my my godson, who's currently living with me, was playing a computer game across the room. And at one point, very uncharacteristically, I said, oh, sh and and I was just silent. He goes, what, what? And I could not answer him. Uh, yeah. I, I was just silent. And I was like, I, 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 I think they just killed Gambit. And he's like, what? Yeah. No, no, no. Dude. Yeah. 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 I yeah, dude, he, he's dead. And oh my gosh, yeah. the the I'm not okay. I'm not okay. And you know what? They play this <clears throat> so predictably and perfectly because you know the first half of this episode is almost like a tribute, a glory tribute to this nation. And it's wonderful because you want to talk about nostalgia, Jason. Pick all the characters you want in Genosha. Dazzler. 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 And it was great and it was wonderful. And, you know, I'm locked into this story about how Rogue is like sacrificing her life to become the queen of Genosha just because that's what mutant kind needs more against her own personal feelings. And it's not only that, she is struggling with the lack of intimacy that she can only have with Magneto and it's powerful and it's emotional and it's own thing. And then boom, it not just only, goes to hell. Yeah. Not only that, but we're getting the fallout from the whole, um, Jean gray clone as well, because there is some stuff going on, some very heavy stuff. And you know what? I understand where Gene is coming from, and I understand where Scott is coming from because their lives, through no fault of their own, have been upended. Gene doesn't know where her life begins and where the, the clone's life ends. Uh, Scott doesn't know who his wife is anymore, and he loves both of them, and I can understand why. Yeah. Even the scene where Gene kisses Wolverine. Yeah, wow. Wow. I can understand why, because she is so unsure of who she is at that moment. And kudos to Wolverine, because that's basically what he's wanted since, you know, X-Men started back in the 90s. Yeah. And he just says, uh, no, <laughs> you know, me and Morph it's... have something going on, right? <laughs> so what you've described there is about five layers of issues in one relationship. This is how deep the show goes, you know? And and again, what a switcheroo, because if it was just the episode about that, it's a fantastic episode. And then it just turns, you know, and it just it turns. It turns like that. And then so much of the issues in this episode get resolved in a literal flash mm. because I'm going to assume Again, spoilers. I don't know what you're still doing here. Yeah. I'm going to assume the Jean Grey clone is dead now. Yep. I, I mean, she, 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 she looked she pretty, pretty much, dead. She pretty much blowed up. Yeah. Uh, Rogue's 
uh, hangups about do I pick Magneto or do I pick yeah. Gambit? Um, fate That's pretty chose cool. for her in a sense. So it's like all these problems, Scott's insecurity, Jean Grey's unhappiness and confusion, Rogue's isolation. Yeah. The Genosia genocide happens <sighs> and it doesn't matter anymore. Ah. It reminded me so much of how 9-11 affected us. You know, what has it been? 23 years ago? Yeah, 23 How years. all of these stupid, petty problems we had just instantaneously vanished like that. Meaningless. Meaningless. Yeah. I, I just predict all kinds of... I, I am... I hate to say excited, but I'm excited about what's coming because I... I don't see things going back to status quo after this. I see lots of big changes for the show. A hundred percent. I th and I believe I messaged you uh, at one point saying N no one is safe in this show. No one. Yeah. If you're <laughs> killing Gambit and well, you didn't, well, I thought you'd killed Nightcrawler, but <clears throat> I think he, they found a pulse with him. Didn't they? With Nightcrawler or did he actually? Yeah. Nightcrawler is alive. Yeah. You, so, you actually see him, you see him up and on his feet. Ah, yeah, not to do. get blasted by the by the yeah. uh, master master mold sentinel, which was a terrifying, whoa, terrifying that... thing. straight kudos... out of the straight out of the comics, by the way. Oh, okay. Which makes me think we got somebody coming mm. who I'm very excited to see adapted. Mm. Okay, keep that under the hat because I have no idea who you're talking about. So I'm hoping you're right. I, well, it'll give you the opportunity to scream from the rafters that you were right when it happens. Well, I I have um, to. I have to say, cover your ears, cover your ears, cover mm. your ears. Cassandra Nova. Okay, I didn't hear that. That's fine. Okay, yeah. However, if you look at the IMDb titles coming up, sorry, the IMDb, uh, what the titles are, what's interesting is we've got the title for, for episode six and seven, but eight, nine, and ten are all just one title episode called Tolerance is Extinction. And apparently it's the same title for episode eight, nine, and ten. Very odd. So I don't know what yeah. they're doing in that aspect, but um, man, like this <clears throat> dude, you have exposed me to some amazing animation in recent years. I've been very privileged to see some absolute wonderful things, but wow, so far, five episodes back to back. This is unheard of almost. There's no weak spot so far. No. Um, we're, we're, no, we're this is thinking, one of the strongest thinking. television shows on the air right now, live action or animated. If you're not watching X-Men 97, you are quite frankly missing one of the best television series that I have seen. I, I have not talked this much about a television series since the first season of Lost. Wow, yeah. And I yeah. hope that it does not go the way Lost did. Oh, no. But if you are not watching X Men 97, you are missing one of the best television shows of the last 20 years. You, you'd said, I think, a couple of episodes ago that you think it's the best thing Marvel done since Endgame. I think after this episode, it's raised it. I think this is as good as Captain Winter Soldier. And I think this is as good as something like Iron Man. I think what they're about to do with this animated series is probably make the most mature and single best story in the Marvel Universe, period. And, you know, it's not just that it's mature. It is that it is mature and it is well written. Mm. Because I, I... So, the reason why the end of this episode works so well is because Magneto sacrificing himself was shocking. Mm. And him telling, the, him telling Leech, don't be afraid in German, which was probably the last thing his mother told him, Man, was whoa. very sad. But when Gambit stepped up and we lost Gambit, that hurt. And Rogue's last line about, I can't feel you. Oh, my gosh. It's As he's holding his final body in her arms. Gut punch right wow. there. Do oh. not bring Gambit back to life, please. Don't I do it. Start. Please don't. Let it, let him. Because his his that last moment whenever he smiles and he says, my name is Gambit, you know, remember yeah. it. Perfect. It was one of his first lines in the show, by the way, my name is Gambit. Remember it. Yeah. No, oh, what a perfect arc. Jake. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. I don't think they will, mate. I don't think they will. Please don't. Please don't. Well, that ends it up guys. 
We uh, we've covered episode five, and if you not okay, God forbid you've watched this and hadn't seen the episode. But as you, I would be shocked to hear that everyone went, eh, you know, pretty boring because <laughs> it wasn't. It was amazing, um, incredible show, and I can't wait to be back next week to talk about episode six, which I believe is called Life Death Part Two. Oh, I guess Storm's coming back. Yes, so it is really going to be about. We did kind of leave Storm in a cliffhanger, didn't we? We did, we did. So you know, poor Storm's going to show up. In that demon, yeah, she's going to show up. She's going to be all scratched up and bloody. She's going to show up at the mansion. She's going to. You will not believe the week I've had. <laughs> and she's going to. Everybody's going to be staring at her. What? <laughs> you got to admit, Cyclops. In a twisted way, he's probably relieved that that Genosa went down because he was having the worst interview ever. Like, remember with that news team? But then oh, yeah. later on, the news team only reports what's happening in Genosha. Yeah. So he must have gone, who PR avoided as you avoided there. But you know, he had a he had a point. He had a point. We're Absolutely. nothing like you, and thank God, because if we were, you'd all be dead. Yeah. I loved that line. Yeah. Yeah. Honest. It was honest. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you next time on a double XL men once I find to click the end screen. See you guys. Wow. <laughs> I don't care if he's got an OnlyFans, bring him back. <laughs>